All right guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a flat or dull finish on your newly painted body. With most RC bodies, they're made out of polycarbonate plastic, and pretty much they are a clear plastic coat, and once you paint them, you paint them from the underside, they always have a shiny coat to them. Well, with lots of different trends in the automotive industry, lots of things are going to kind of like a dull or flat finish, and we want to transpire that over to our RC bodies. Achieving a dull or flat finish is actually a pretty easy step, and in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do so. Now, in today's video, I'll be painting up this Techno EB48.3 body for my 1.8 scale buggy. Now, this is a somewhat small body, and I've already went ahead and trimmed the body, washed the body, and prepped the body by applying masking tape on the areas where I don't want a certain color to show. Here are the four testers products we will be using in today's video. Now I have three different colors right here from Pact or Paint, and that'll be going the color for the body. I am going to be putting on some Outlaw Black, some metallic blue, and I'll be backing the metallic blue with the Indie Silver color to give it a more of a lighter blue color. Now to get the dull coat or flat finish on the exterior, we're, we're gonna be using Tester's Clear Coat, which is actually their dull coat finish. So let's go get some color on this body and I'll show you how to get that dull coat or flat finish on the exterior. So when painting, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you're in an outdoor environment and you wanna make sure that the ambient temperature is about 70 degrees or higher. Went ahead and grabbed my metallic blue paint, gave it a good shake and I'm ready to start painting. Several coats of paint later, we have applied the metallic blue as the primary color. We backed it with the ND silver to kind of give it that medium blue effect. And then we went ahead and used a contrasting outlaw black color just as a accent color for the blue. But now in this case, we're going to turn that uh, outlaw black into kind of like a dull coat or a flat black. So in these next few steps, we're going to cut away the overspray film to expose the clear uh, shiny Lexan and we're going to be spraying this spray lacquer onto it. This is uh, Tester's dull coat. This is just a clear finish and it gives you that dull appearance or a flat appearance to the exterior of the car. Now keep in mind this will not keep up with a traditional body of paint because it is on the exterior. Now remember we always paint from the inside of the body to keep the color of the vehicle as long as possible. We are gonna be painting this dull coat on the exterior so it will have a little bit less life to it, but with a buggy body, it's hardly ever affected by the exterior elements. So I went ahead and grabbed my tester's hobby knife with a brand new number 11 blade. And all we're gonna do now is just go ahead and lightly score the Lexan so we can uh, cut away the overspray film and show this section very, very shiny. You're gonna notice there are there is some overspray right here of the silver. That is okay, that will come right off once we peel off that overspray film. <laughs> And 
there we have, we went ahead and scored the overspray film and now it's a mirror of just peeling off the area that you want to make it flat. So in this case, it is the black section right here that we're gonna turn flat with the tester's dull coat. <music> All right, well there you can see exactly how shiny that area is there without the overspray film. It is quite shiny and we're gonna go ahead and turn that to a flat finish. Now remember, this part is gonna be shiny. We're gonna leave that overspray film on and spray this with the dull coat finish from Testers. So now we're ready to spray the dull coat finish. It just takes a couple of coats of this to make it dull and get to your liking. <music> So I went ahead and applied two coats of the tester's dull coat finish to the exterior, actually on the black section. Now it's time to go ahead and peel the overspray mask off of the blue section and the windows so you can really see the contrast between the shiny part of the blue to the dull finish of the black. So let's get going on that. <music> All right, well, there we go. There we have the shininess right there of that blue, the metallic blue from Pactra, on over to that dull finish of the dull coat from Tester. So very nice contrast. It gives your buggy a different look and you can really kind of experiment with the different sections of the dull coat. Like you can make the back little kind of motor section right here or exhaust section uh, right over here there's like another scoop you could paint that black make that kind of that flat black look you can also do sections maybe around the windows to make it look like weather stripping there's all sorts of versatility of that dull coat finish that you can apply to your rc bodies well guys that is it for now i hope you guys have enjoyed this video here showing you some pretty cool uses of some pack trip and testers products i hope you guys catch me in the next one well guys that's it for now if you have any comments or questions please leave it on down below and as always thumbs up and subscribe that's it for now guys over and out